With the Pokemon anime at over 1,000 episodes, most people haven't seen, or let alone remembered, every series. But what about the spin-off anime? Hey, this is Gatorx, and do you remember Pokemon Chronicles? Well, you probably do, but it's an interesting part of the Pokemon anime. Recently, I've been looking into various parts of Pokemon history, mostly commercials, so that I can run the Pokemon Commercials Twitter account. And after stumbling upon Pokemon Chronicles and looking into things, I realize that this is actually quite the strange series. For one thing, it is categorized as separate from the main series anime, as episodes aired alongside each other. There is also the fact that there is no real unifying theme amongst the episodes. Now, this series is presented as stories in the Pokemon anime that don't necessarily follow Ash Ketchum. There are, however, episodes that feature his Pokemon, specifically Pikachu's Winter Vacation, which I mentioned in my Christmas video. But these episodes have original air dates that are long before the rest of the series, and also with the fact that these are mostly two shorts put together into one episode, and just thrown into the series of Chronicles. And also, there are two different episodes both titled Pikachu's Winter Vacation? One placed as a fourth episode of Chronicles with an original air date of December 26, 2nd, 2000, and the other place does the 22nd episode with an original air date of December 22nd, 1998? What the heck is going on here? Of course, these are the Japan air dates. In 2006, the whole of Pokemon Chronicles was aired in the US, about four years after Japan got it, with all 22 episodes airing roughly every week quote-unquote chronologically. Like I said, aside from these, most episodes focus on other characters. For example, there are a few episodes featuring our favorite Ash Ketchum clone, Richie, but then there are also episodes centered around Brock, Misty, Tracy, Team Rocket, other Team Rocket, and Casey. But most notably is the three-episode arc that starts off Chronicles, The Legend of Thunder. This is some of the best of Pokemon Chronicles, and I'd even say Pokemon as a whole. It focuses on characters who didn't even appear previously in the anime, Ethan and Chris. Uh, sorry, sorry. I mean, Jimmy and Marina. And I don't know why y'all been sleeping on this ship, it's practically canon. It even comes with a third wheel, Vincent. And who But anyway, after being introduced to our new main characters, the story kicks off with some Team Rocket members attempting to catch the legendary Pokemon, Raikou. Yeah, Entei and Suicune each appeared in their own movies, while Raikou got three episodes in a spin-off series. But actually, I do like this approach. You can't have every legendary Pokemon appear as the focal point of a movie, and on top of that, there are other Pokemon trainers with their own journeys and adventures. Why is it always Ash who helps save these Pokemon? Doing something like this helps to make the Pokemon world feel even bigger. But anyway, our heroes obviously save Raikou, and there are the usual themes of nature versus technology, possession and personal gain versus freedom and friendship, usual Pokemon stuff. We do also get to see Yusin show up and help, again, connecting the Pokemon world. This anime arc has some good character dynamics between the three main characters, who each have one of the Johto starters. Jimmy is a bit of a typical anime protagonist, but he's still good-hearted and easy to root for. Marina is cute and seems infatuated with every guy she sees besides Vincent. And Vincent is a simp, plain and simple. But they do all work really well together. You can tell that they've all been friends for a while, even going off on their own journeys by themselves. But all come together in the climax without question to help this Pokemon in need. It's honestly a shame we never got to see them come back in the main series anime, or even get more of their own episodes. The story is also pretty well done. Things get intense with Raikou getting beat up and Pokemon even attempting to attack people. Yeah, it's great. A nice three episodes with a cool story. The rest of Pokemon Chronicles is fine, but honestly, I would have taken an entire season following these three trainers as they continue their journey. One thing I do like is that when we're introduced to these characters, they're already experienced trainers, most having fully evolved their starter Pokemon, and I would have loved to see how else they grow. Of course, Pokemon Chronicles was never really meant to be a full fledged series, as we can see by its structure. A fun idea and experiment that ended up paving the way for future anime spin-offs, like Origins and Generations and recently Twilight Wings. These have all been much more ambitious with their animation, but are beaten by Chronicles in terms of length. Honestly, I would love to see another spin-off series get a full 22 episodes. Pokemon Chronicles Legend of Thunder is honestly, in my opinion, a hidden and underrated gem. But anyway, let me know what you think. Have you watched and do you like Pokemon Chronicles, specifically the Legend of Thunder arc? Like I said, I would take a whole 22 episodes of just the characters that we saw in the Legend of Thunder, but Pokemon Chronicles as a whole is pretty interesting. Uh, if you'd like to see me discuss it and revisit it in a future video or at a future date, uh, let me know, because definitely I'd like to uh, watch a few more episodes of it. I, I honestly mostly focused on uh, the Legend of Thunder arc. But uh, like I said, I'm going to be discussing some other random interesting things throughout Pokemon history, uh, some of the anime, some of the other 
really obscure things because uh, I find it just so, so interesting. And, you know, it's it's fun to research and, and with discuss. Pokemon Chronicles specifically, the really weird thing is how it was aired because this was at the time where uh, they were moving away from airing on Kids WB on non-cable to Cartoon Network specifically. And, uh, you know, the commercial that I found and kind of used and discussed was for Toonami in the... Uh, so Chronicles aired on Toonami specifically at, you know, a different time slot than usual. So the distribution that we got here in the U.S. at least was very different from other Pokemon. And again, it came out like four years after uh, it came out over in Japan. So we were, it was, um, it was really interesting because it was, you know, Generation 2 into Generation 3 kind of spilling into that. But it came out uh, in 2006, right as we were on the verge of getting Generation 4. So, you know, it, it was just unfortunate. And, uh, you know, I had honestly never seen it beforehand. I didn't watch it until, you know, again, for this video. Uh, but, yeah, I really did enjoy it. It was really neat. But, again, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe I'm a little biased. I am a bit of a Johto fanboy. Oh, there, that one's Cyndaquil. This one's Totodile. There we go. Chikorita's not even going to show up. That's so sad. But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll continue the discussion down there. If you enjoyed the content, remember to leave a like and subscribe to show your support. You can enable notifications by clicking that bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will make sure you see each new video as it comes out. And we'll make you a member of the Chingling Squad. Anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.